Oh, no, right. I hope you're very well. Much more again. I'm very well indeed. Much more again. And today we're going to talk about one of the best magic tricks of all time. Seriously, back from the classic Asian magic of the 90s and 80s, it's Copperfield's uh, Fires of Passion show from 1993. Here we go. Check this out. This vlog and blog, the Fires of Passion show from 1993 by Great Magician World, David Copperfield. Here we're going to go. Arrives the stage doing fire between hoops of fire basically and arrives onto the stage kind of thing and uh, echoing the illusion in the last show which is the flying dream of the show of 2002 or well, no, 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 two, sorry so basically anyway uh, Copperfield kind of rises on, on the stage okay flying through these hoops of fire basically really amazing stage, seriously Amazing illusion called a cocoon illusion. Now, cocoon illusion is a really tr good illusion, seriously. Uh, it's a version of Better Metamorphosis, an illusion performed by Harry Houdini about 100 years ago. Called Metamorphosis. It's where a girl, girl and boy change places. The girls are already locked inside a chest, and the boys on top of the chest. Suddenly they change places, suddenly the boys in a chest, the girls are out of the chest, basically. It's called Metamorphosis Illusion. It's the ultimate special illusion of all time, uh, seriously. So what's happening a little bit about, about, about Cocoon? Cocoon is a really good illusion since the beginning of the show, Cocoon Illusion. Actually, one of my favourite illusions of the show is Cocoon. Cocoon is where Copperfield, basically, a girl gets basically stuck into a big cocoon, basically, wrapped around her body. Copperfield stands next to her, basically, and he picks up a big cloth, all right? And suddenly, so the girl's in the cocoon, he stood next to her with a big cloth. And suddenly, he raises the cloth, like that, drops the cloth, and suddenly, he's gone, the girl's there, and, and the cocoon, cocoon opens, and out of the cocoon, he snaps Copperfield. It's amazing. It's kind of a switch illusion, really good illusion, seriously. So suddenly, she's in the cocoon, he's oh no, behind a cloth. Off, rises drops, suddenly she's there and he's in a cocoon. Quick trick, seriously, a massive change, really, really quick indeed. Performed by magicians, I think, years ago, called the Pendragon Loop, Pendragons years and years ago, very good American illusionists. This is ultra fast, ultra quick. This, this illusion is performed with style and grace, amazing use of music from Genesis as well, back in this was 903, wasn't it? So Genesis was quite big at the time, weren't they? And it's really rocky, it's a big illusion, it looks beautiful, beautifully staged. The design of the sheets, the cloths, the canvases, the dance routine, the way Confield um, handles the cloths, the way everything changes so fast. It's mind blowingly brilliant, seriously. Cocoon, check it out. Cocoon, C O C W N, Cocoon Illusion, check it out. It's on the Confield 15 Fast Fashion Show. Good illusion, seriously. And probably the best illusion of the show, seriously, check it out. I do love that one. All right. Which I'll, I'm going to have to look in here to find what the illusion is because I'm trying to get through the show myself here because I've got the show on tape here right in front of me. And this illusion uh, he goes into, if I look at this correctly, is the is the illusion called the um, it's called the vanishing coin actually. It's kind of the, the coin illusion. It's kind of flying coin. This is a friend of mine, which you got out around years about 56 years ago, flying coin. And basically, what you do is you get a coin and put your hand on or a ring or something. In this case, he gets a ring in this case, and he puts a, a sneaker in his back pocket, a little sneaker. The kids like a sneaker, sticks in the back pocket like this, gets a kind of a little kind of ring of a girl in the audience. The ring disappears entirely. And they appears tied to a lace of a sneaker in his back pocket. Very trick, seriously. It's done really, really well in DOK. I love the illusion. It's performed really beautifully with a kind of emotional tint to it as well. With Coffee, there's always good emotion on the and tint to his magic as well. So, very good effect in DOK, seriously. The vanishing ring from the hand appearing and tied to a lace on a sneaker tucked in his back pocket. Good trick, seriously. I do love that one, really. It's 
have a look through the rest of the show as well and look at what else is on the show as well. Um, he goes from there to an amazing illusion, which is kind of experimental illusion. He did, I, I think, back in the day when I was on stage back in uh, 1994, okay, and I was caught in London. He did a massive show, about 10,000 people then I was caught. I think the next act before that was after that was Pink Floyd, basically. But this is an amazing illusion. This illusion, again, is an illusion where Gomphil gets a big boxing stage and he uses the music of Terry Trent Derby. Remember Terry Trent Derby? Remember back in the 80s? Very good um, musician, wasn't he? Good singer, Terry Trent Derby. Black, uh, black magician, magician. And basically, anyway, um, what, what happens with this illusion, anyway, is that he kind of puts a girl in a box and then she kind of disappears on bit by bit. So each limb of the girl disappears. Her head disappears, her arm disappears, her leg disappears, her torso disappears entirely. Eventually, she completely disappears piece by piece. It's a good trick, seriously. And then suddenly she reappears again, then disappears again. Then reappears two girls pop out of the box in the illusion. It's a good illusion, seriously. Done very well indeed again. Performed with immaculate style, grace, amazing staging, amazing lighting again, as per usual Comfield in those back in those 1990 specials. Classic shows weren't they seriously? Comfield does the illusion really beautifully, okay. The girl disappearing. I saw it live on stage, it didn't quite work on the sort of stage. And I think the version of the thing he did on television is really better. And you get, you get to see the illusion really close up and very well indeed. The, the girl's limbs disappearing piece by piece, so she completely disappears and then reappears. And then two girls reappear after all this. It's very good illusion indeed. It's called the, um, I think it's called the body part illusion, it's called anyway, seriously. But for me, style, grace, amazing music by Tennis Strobe. Check it out, it's on the show. Have a look at it, it's really good. weather show and have a look at it as well. I'm looking at it right now on television, I've got it on my screen. Yeah, there's another version of a very good trick and deal which he does called um, as I remember called the called the um, it's kind of it's something to do it's to do with the kind of sports car illusion. Back in the 60s he used to get to a sports car didn't they sports US sports stars kind of carts. He gets a kind of card <clears throat> basically kind of regular car a sports star card which is a, an antique card. It shows a sports star on it. It's probably worth about a million quid basically this this, uh, this kind of little car basically it's from a US legendary sports star. And Goffield takes it, takes it, gets the card signed, amazing, seriously. He then takes a card and pulls, gets a card ripped to pieces, okay. This card, this is a, 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 a million dollar American sports card and takes a ripped card to pieces, seriously, all right. And then basically, then takes puts it together and reassembles it piece by piece until it's complete back to one normal piece again, one normal sports card again. Amazing trick, seriously, okay. He even takes the signature and pulls the signature off with like a piece of wire, seriously, amazing, seriously. It's a very good trick, the tournament stored version of a card, basically. This time it's tournament stored version of a sports card, an antique sports card. How it works, I think I know how it works, basically. I think it's a switch. Good trick, seriously. Performed with some very good magical technology I hadn't seen before before. This is about 27 years ago. It's a very good illusion indeed. Do love it, okay? Um, I don't know exactly how we did it, but it's very impressive. A uh, piece by piece tearing restoration of uh, an antique sports card. Very good indeed, seriously. Check this out. It's very good indeed. show as well let's look at the show as well and see what's well, sort of this show was a big tv show back in the day it was pretty for 1993 pretty state-of-the-art kind of magic show okay he then goes into the show i think was was one of the favorites of a, of a magician called of, of a magician and dancer who worked with Confield called joan spina now joan spina was a beautiful lady she died like about five or six years ago she was a very elegant graceful lady she was a lovely lovely person she died of cancer a few years ago very sadly i think she's about 60 years old anyway she appears in many Confield shows nearly all of them basically all the 50 odd shows and she started working with Confield in 1994 i think 
basically anyway, she um, uh, organised this illusion of film called, called the Astro Illusion. Now, Astro is a classical illusion uh, where basically a person, a girl lies on the table, basically, put cloth over the girl, the girl levitates in the cloth, the whipped cloth is whipped away and the girl completely disappears. Okay, it's a good trick, seriously. Very classical illusion called Astro. Come from work this for years and years and years. Basically, the girl gets on stage, but this in this version of Astro, the girl stands upright, okay, on the stage, come through and dances with her. Okay, a little bit, kind of makes love in a poetic way, you know what I mean? Then the darts come away, darts come away, you know. And then she says, then it gets a cloth, but puts a big clip of cloth over the girl, and then she floats up in the air like this, up in the air, right up in the air, basically. So she's up in the rafters, flying around, floating, but upright as well. And suddenly he clicks his fingers, bam, and suddenly the clock drops and drops, and she completely disappears again. It's amazing, beautiful, vanish, elegant, sophisticated kind of vanish, seriously. Down below, behind the cloth, basically, as I say. It's, cool. it's done to the music of George Michaels. They don't know, they don't go where I go. Uh, classic George Michaels song from the early 90s. Back in the day, George Michaels was massive, wasn't he? The early 1990s, 1992, it was it Faith, Listen Without Prejudice. Remember those albums? Well, the early, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, obviously, uh, those days, George Michaels was a really big star, wasn't he? Bigger than ever, I think, in the, the early 1990s. But George Michaels' music is used elegantly, beautiful within this illusion. Beautiful illusion, seriously. It's called the, it's called the Upright Astro Illusion. Beautiful illusion, seriously. Check it out on video, it's really good on the show. Come feel 15, Fast of Passion. Check the illusion out, I do love it. I think it's probably the best thing on the show, that and the cocoon, be getting the best things on the show, seriously. Very impressive indeed, okay? <laughs> Quiz the rest of the show and see what's on as well. Um, looking at the illusion on here, he does another thing with it. He interacts with, it with a member of the audience, which is really good as well. He, then he gets a card. He does a card routine where he gets. Uh, in fact, I don't know one of my videos. I think it's my video. I think a similar version was called the video ASMR Magic I did about a year ago or so. It's called ASMR Magic. It's on my, one of my videos I did. Check my videos out. I've got a lot of videos. Okay. And on there's lots of magic. I've done a hundred bits of magic in my videos over the last uh, 2020. I was in 2020. Check my magic out seriously and have a look at this uh, uh, trick. It's called ASMR Magic. It's a version of Copperfield's um, trick that he did on Copperfield 15 Fast Passion. So, a very good card trick. Interacting with the audience. It's kind of quite a mind blown bit of uh, mind reading magic. Seriously, check it out. It's really good okay, on the show. Let's have a look through a bit more as well on the show and just see what else is on the final. He finalizes the actual illusion part of the show with a version of, of a trick called Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is an old classic of magic going back about 60 odd years. It's where a person gets a card, shows on the pack, and then someone, they put, they put back in the pack and basically someone picks up a gun, uh, shoots the, the, the gun out of the pack of cards, okay? The card leaps out, there's a hole in the car with the, where the car was shot through by the bullet. It's just an illusion, really. And of course, it's the chosen card. So basically, you shoot the chosen card out of the pack with a gun, basically. Simple as that. Good trick, seriously. Do love the do love the illusion. This is done actually very well done with a lot of jumps and gags. This is superbly written routine. If you want to do magic kids party shows, you know, even that kind of stuff. Any shows you're doing magic shows, illusion, the cruise. Whatever you do uh, performance, this is the illusion that you could do yourself. Actually, I've done similar stuff myself on stage with this illusion. Okay, the sharpshooter illusion. Come feel there's a brilliant routine with it. It's a great routine. Okay, very amusing, great gags, great jokes, ropes in the routine as well. Really well written, dear. Love the love the effect. We love the illusion, which indeed it's done just so well. Performed so well. The, the gags and jokes are so funny. It's so good. It's a great piece of illusion. Actually, one of, not one of the best things in the show, but it's a really really great piece of comedy magic that you could do yourself. Very good illusion. Check it out. Couple Field 15, Fires of Passion Show, the sharp shooter card trick with a three of hearts. It's a good trick, seriously. And 
and it was finally the show finally finally ends up with a very extraordinary illusion, which I think is the Fast Passion. So the Fast Passion is a very interesting illusion. It's still a kind of Brazilian kind of rainforest, kind of Amazon rainforest kind of setting, basically. And Copperfield is, um, is, is hung up from, up from the rafters, basically, above a load of spikes, basically, above uh, a kind of like, uh, against the backdrop of sort of Amazon rainforest, projecting screens, and it's really weird. There's fires everywhere, flames everywhere. Copperfield basically hangs upside down on a rope, tied in a straight jacket, okay? Hung upside on a straight jacket, hung upside down above a load of spikes, okay? These spikes are massive spikes, well, they're six foot tall spikes. They're not fake, they're real spikes, okay? Copperfield really does this, okay? This is very dangerous indeed, seriously. But it's so dangerous, I can't believe we did it, seriously. <laughs> Can you believe it? Based on illusion uh, done by Houdini a hundred years ago, another other magicians I think like Murray as well Alan Allen did this as well Alan Allen a friend of mine from the 80s and 90s magician who taught me magic as well Alan Allen he did this as well in his act back in the 50s and 60s okay the magician is hung by a rope uh, by a straight jacket the rope is set on fire set on fire the rope then starts to burn through the magician escapes uh, from the straight jacket just in time before the, the, the fire burns through the rope and the, uh, luckily saving the magician from falling to his death okay simple as that it's a very good upside down escape illusion, really. It's done beautifully, amazing on the show. I'm watching it right now, actually. It's amazingly done. Stage beautifully again. This is so dangerous. There's actually a very clever bit in this, I think, where Copperfield actually kind of has three ropes. Basically, he has three ropes hanging connected to one big rope. And at one point during the escape, he's wriggling away, wilding away underneath the ropes. So the ropes are burning through above his head. He's upside down and the straight jackets around him and everything else. And the, the flames are kind of coming down as he ropes and jilts the rope about the place. And suddenly, one of the ropes gives way and breaks, okay? So he's hanging off li 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 literally a couple of ropes, basically. And it looks really effective. It's so he's going to fall, but he doesn't fall, luckily. And thankfully, okay, at the end of the day, he just manages to get out the straight jacket, throw his straight jacket, tack it down the ground. And, and he literally gets himself free up from the foot of the ropes and that gets lower down from 50 feet up in the air down to the ground, escaping the drastic fall. Luckily, he doesn't fall onto the spare spikes. Good trick, seriously. Good illusion, really. It's very dramatic, very dangerous indeed. Seriously, this guy was 35 and did this, seriously. And this is quite a dangerous illusion to do. I wouldn't recommend you do it, seriously. I don't want to do it myself. It's very dangerous indeed. The upside down uh, burning rope escape. Classic magic going back to Alan Allen back in the 40s and 50s and 60s when he performed it in circuses around the world, apparently. And uh, Copperfield does it himself really well in this illusion of Fast of Passion. It's a good illusion. Very dangerous trick indeed. There's no real technique to it. It's a real straightforward straight jacket escape. It's done really well with amazing technology allowing the ropes to kind of break and give way, but not completely break. So luckily Copperfield doesn't fall 100 feet to his death, basically. Thank God for that, okay? to live on till 65 years old she is now so probably a wonderful illusion we've been doing once but seriously amazing tricks we were really going to do so that's really the show do check the show out it's Fire of Passion it's a classic magic show from 1993 one of my best magic shows I've ever seen seriously one of the last great magic shows I've ever seen during his career during the 1990s and 80s seriously the golden age of magic on television good, a good age of magic seriously the show's good too you've got on there you've got the cocoon illusion which is amazing being probably the best thing in the show you've got also you've got the, uh, the, the ring to pocket which is ring to sneaker 
Dietrich says he says good illusion doesn't mind many magicians but self included and um, he also does the body by body uh, um, the part where bits of body disappear uh, and the illusion well done again he also does the um he also does a bit when he tears up the sports car, the sports car gets restored back to one car again. Um, he also does, of course, the amazing trick where he floats the girl up, up right, an Astra to George Michael music. That's probably one of the best in the show again as well. Do check out this really good piece of magic, so to that. Elegant, beautiful piece of magic. And then, of course, he does a bit where he shoots at the sharp shoots the car as well really well. That's really done the sharp shoot as well. And finally, of course, after the car trick he does, which is quite effective, mind-blowing car trick too, he does the amazing final escape from burning rope, hung upside down, Fire of Passion itself. So it's a great illusion show. Check it out on YouTube. It's really on YouTube somewhere. A couple of them are 15. Okay, check it out seriously. It's on there somewhere. It's not been deleted, thank God. Okay, it's still on YouTube. Okay, check it out seriously. It's a great show. A couple of them are 15. Fire of Passion. Hope you enjoyed that very much today. Please do click below for more content me as well, seriously. And also click the subscribe button as well for more stuff as well for me. Hit the subscribe, 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 subscribe button as well. Please do. Okay, please subscribe. If you can do that seriously, help me out with that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that very much indeed. Have a very happy new year for 21. 2021. Please do. Okay. And hope things get better into 2020. Well, please, I hope they really get better, seriously. And in the meantime, look after yourselves. A happy new year. Okay, hope we had a really good Christmas this year, 2020. And uh, look after yourselves and see you again very soon for some more magic, chat, illusion, and discussion about magic. So see you very soon. Happy new year to you as well for 2021. See you later.